Hey guys, so part three of the series, Remaining Men Together. This is when in the church meeting room at night, uh, there are some guys hugging and there's a sign on the door saying, Remaining Men Together. So, uh, whereas these guys from that have testicular cancers have physical issues with their body, which made them feel that they lost their masculinity. On the other hand, there was the, the Jack, in the case of Jack, he got uh, issues with his mind, like uh, his passivity. What do I mean by passivity? Is that he's not an active actor in his life. He's always subordinated by his boss and watching sitcoms and doing what the others told him to do. So he bought furniture to his house and he, he had watched, he had a, a fridge full of condiments with no food. So he was miserable because of that. He was too materialistic and didn't focus on his spiritual growth, his inner feelings, his sense of belonging. Oh, wait there. My dad just entered the room. <laughs> Bye, dad. So, uh, yeah. So that's it. So the next quote is that we're still men. And Bob says we're still men. And Jack then says, yes, we're men. Men is what we are. So... What they meant was that there was a glimmer of hope. What is that? Was that both of them had hoped of, of curing their masculinity problem, issue their masculinity. So they wanted to re remain still men and thrive in society. And uh, this was the most salient aspects of their personality, which is being men. All men have this this concern with their masculinity masculinity so why is that that is because of an unconscious uh, evolutionary reason which drives the man to reproduce generate off of what is that uh, offspring you know children and why is that so important because uh, in this uh, men have evolved in order to have a, they have an instant pressure to have relationships with real women so that they could pass on their genes to the next generation and this is very important since we, we have to keep the species alive and thriving we have to uh, maintain the, the existence of the species because this uh, was God made in order to God made this concern on, on all animals because they wanted he wanted their them to survive and evolve and climb up the ladder of spiritual involvement so that they eventually reach the level of pure spirits they first they, they, they the the uh, intelligent principle inhabit the rocks and then they have they become trees and then they become animals all sorts of animals and this takes a long long time you know and who knows how long this takes no nobody knows when, when the spirit was created and how they were formed this is a mystery to all of us and what i mean is that they have to undergo all this process until they reach the full maturity of men, uh, superior spirits, they have to become evil men and then benevolent men, neutral spirits, and then become a, a superior spirit, which has uh, both three principles, uh, wisdom, knowledge, intellectual knowledge, and morality. They have these three principles very embedded in their existence in their souls 
so eventually they become pure spirits which are perfect so what I, why did, did I say all this because uh, in order to, to for you to climb the ladder uh, your, your material principle material principle uh, had to climb up the, the spiritual ladder in order to grow and accomplish the mission that all God placed in to, to all beings which is to reach perfection to come back to the source which is uh, perfection and getting to know God in its most perfect level however not everyone can no 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 single creation of God can can get to know uh, God in its infinite potential nobody can comprehend him fully know their his mysteries only not even few of them nobody nobody can can do that because God is an ever mysterious potent form force and supreme force so I I went on a tangent here, but I think that that was necessary to, in order to explain why this evolutionary purpose uh, is installed. So the next quote is, we're still men. Oh no, no. Yeah, even though the unfavorable physical and mental health condition of the, the characters in this movie, they, they still fought to preserve their masculinity, the most important aspects of their lives. So the next quote is Jack saying in a voiceover, six months ago Bob's testicles were removed, the hormone therapy. He developed bitch tits because his testosterone was too high and his body up this estrogen. That, wait a minute, I made a mistake here. A bit. That was where my head fit into this huge sweating tits that hung enormous. And the way that we think as gods as big. So, and he became a bodybuilder in the past. Uh, this Bob Bob became a bodybuilder in the past because he, due to the insecurities about his masculinity. He, he, he developed big muscles in order to cope with those insecurities. So, why big muscles? Because big muscles represent the protection of the family. The family needs to be protected in the ancient, in, in the times of our ancestors, in prehistoric times. Uh, muscles were necessary in order to hunt, to protect the species, and to, to pass on their genes to the next generations and maintain the species. So we have similar brains to our ancestors which make us have the similar responses such as the fight, fight or flight responses, fight or flight response in the limbic system. So these reactions even though they are not essential to men in this current state of the world and nowadays they are they are yeah they are not suitable they, they, to this unsuitable context which have uh, like uh, being anxious for a deadline like uh, uh, dreading the, the final date for you to hand in the, your project your your essay or whatever and eating a bunch of sweets to gather energy for shortages of food. What do I mean by that? It means that in the prehistoric times, you had it was very common to have shortages of food. Not especially in, in cold climates, you 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 spend long times without finding uh, prey to, to to feed on. And uh, other animals to, to, to have energy from them, to attain energy from them, and all sorts of things. And 
Nowadays, in the developed countries, they will never happen. This sort of shortage of food in the context of the movie, which is in LA, a developed city, will never happen for most citizens. Even the poor people have access to enough food to survive, even though they, they eat some uh, poor nutritional foods, uh, like fast food and these crap. <laughs> okay, so the next quote is, for six months, I couldn't sleep. So why did he, could, could, why couldn't he sleep? Because his life was devoid of meaning. He couldn't express his emotions. He was fucked up. He was in a really in bad situation. He was he couldn't express his emotions, so he had to resort to an extreme uh, extreme option, which was to go to support groups in which he didn't have any diseases at all but he went to the support group where people were fake all the society is fake and, and those people in those support groups were real because they suffered from a very serious illness that were nagging them they were preventing them from from have, fulfilling their desires in this life to, from having more experiences for this life so, yeah, this, this artificial life it, it couldn't give rise to those inner feelings and, and de for him to develop self-knowledge. That was impossible because he was always occupied with those petty uh, activities that he didn't, didn't realize his full potential. So, uh... He started an amazing relationship with Marla, and wait a minute, he started. So why, how did he cultivate his inner feelings by having a relationship with Marla? He and Tyler are the same guy, so he started the, that relationship with her, and and he he could release. And the other part was releasing his fears and insecurities. How did he release those feelings? Uh, those feelings of fear and insecurities. He partaked on fights. He, he, he lived in, in a dilapidated house, a very fucked up house, a very run down, run down house. And he worked also diligently in a project the call the project mayhem which was further in the movie you could see that that taking place project mayhem and he wanted to change the world and that change by changing the world he would get peace of mind because he couldn't find in his interior peace of mind so he resorted to finding the peace of mind altering the physical world you know so that's it for today guys, I hope you're enjoying this and I, I'll, I'll meet you in the fourth part, is this the third part? Yeah, in the fourth part of this series, bye.